So basically going through the whole history, the evolution of the coins, the bills. And money is also something that is be, is something that's able to relate to everyone's life. So like we said before, the lunch money, the allowance, going shopping with your family. They're all different tools that children need money for in order to learn about it. So we focus primarily on money in first grade. And at the first grade level, students learn about the basics of money, such as the value of the penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter, the look of it, the colors, that they're able to familiarize themselves with which coin is which. Right, and they differentiate between them based on even the feel of it, the shape, all those little um, factors. And also in first grade, students are expected to have at least some kind of uh, basic addition and subtraction skills. And that helps them with counting money. So we can use the coins, which you'll see in a little bit, as manipulatives to help the students count. And after they've mastered their knowledge of the coins, this is when the value of the dollar bills are introduced, which is obviously a little, a little later on. But it leads them to combining the coins and bills together to figure out, obviously, a specific amount of money that they're looking for. OK, so we're going to pull up an activity. We have a volunteer to come up and play this game. So, okay, so here's the directions. You're going to drag out the currency from the bottom of the screen to match the total value and number of coins to the left. Solve at least eight combinations before the time runs up. So, press play when you're ready. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So one coin totaling five cents. Oh, jeez. What do you even say? One coin twenty-five cents. One coin ten cents. Again. <laughs> five, cents. five cents. Two coins twenty. Two coins fifty. You guys can help her out. Two coins thirty. Two coins twenty. Three coins eighty-five. Oh, this is the oh, answer. Oh, so no, oh, okay, can we have one more person? Anyone else want to try it? It's gonna be a little harder now. It's gonna get a little harder. Anybody or should we move on? <laughs> Alright, no one wants to challenge. Alright, so. <laughs> so our first activity is called coin rubbing. So here, I'm going to go on. 
Um, if you can, I guess working groups of like two, or two to three, ideally. Yeah. Like. Yeah. So, so with this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to be handed coins, and you're going to put the coin matching the sheet underneath and rub it, and this gives the students an idea of exactly what the coin looks like, how it feels. If you have a pencil, it works better, but can you guys share this one? And you three share this one?